Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Topside. Welcome to episode 3 of my Let's Play on this beautiful SMP known as B-Doncraft. Named after our supreme leader and overlord. <laughs> I, I, I mean realm admin, B-Don. I'm sorry, master. I didn't mean to let it slip. Please don't put me back in the mines. Anyways, if we don't spend the episode locked up in the mines, we will not be working on the starter house like I said last episode, because I'm a lawyer. Instead, we will be abandoning this project so we can go start another project that we probably won't finish. Yay! If you are enjoying this content so far, please like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Okay, shameless self-promotion over. Let's start the mega base. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the location. And it needs a lot of work. I need to get rid of all these trees and level this terrain some, but as you can see, it's a pretty nice mountain. Can three people coordinate their sleep schedule? Uh oh, well not with him. Joke's on you, pal. I'm gonna sleep anyways. So while leveling the terrain and chopping down some trees, they just caught on fire again. I, I don't know how that happened. Just, just randomly. I sure hope they fix that bug that causes trees around me to catch on fire. Look at all this sweet, sweet profit. You just love to see it. Like, why even go mining when you can just charge everyone an arm and a leg for stuff you get really cheaply? Just gotta clear out these million beehives around here, and uh, the locals, they don't, they don't seem too happy about it. But I'm not even close to dying. <laughs> so we're using experimental features on this season, and um, it causes some weird terrain generation. Like, the, the cliff face I can work with, but uh, that water is going to be an eyesore for a while. Okay, everyone, progress update. I finished leveling as much as I could and chopping down the trees. Now we can start laying out the floor plan. You know, I really enjoy this view from my starter house. I know it's just a bridge, but... I should really do this interior and make these windows symmetrical. And put a window up there. But it's me, so we're just going to leave. Quick pro tip time. When renovating your nether tunnel, you should always mob-proof the floor before you worry about the wall. Or it just becomes a really inefficient mob farm. Okay, so I finished laying out a quick floor plan. I decided to do a mansion this year, as I've never really made one in survival before. So it will either help me improve as a builder, or frustrate me until I kick my TV out the window. So please comment if you have any cheap TVs for sale. I decided not to go too large with this project, as we will probably start a new world when Caves and Cliffs Part 2 drops. Alright, so I'm in my creative world, and I need your help. I have laid out before you three beautiful color palettes, but I'm not sure which one looks the best. Choice number A is some lovely stripped spruce wood with a stone wall and a nether brick roof. Choice number B is some delightful stripped acacia wood with some smooth sandstone wall and red sandstone stairs. And choice C is the most basic of them, but sometimes basic is best. Just some stripped oak wood, stone wall, and deep slate roof. Please let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Or feel free to comment your own build palette. Anyways, back to survival. Okay, so I started working on the first actual room in my build. And it's going to be an auto storage system. That is, if Teddy has one at his base, I can copy. <laughs> okay, so I can confidently confirm that Teddy does not have one yet. 
However, he does have this really nice hot tub. It is very hot. I hope this is okay for guests to use. I'm sorry if it's hard to see, but I'm mining a lot of cobble for my furnaces for my smelter. Ooh, diamonds. Oh, I'm not crying. I just got something in my eye. <laughs> okay, so we are here at Joey C's place for reasons that aren't important, but look at his nice perimeter wall. Nice white concrete. He's addicted to this stuff. He also makes YouTube videos at Joey C Plays. He said some very kind things about me, so I'm gonna postpone whatever plans I had today. So yesterday, Teddy said a mountain just appeared by his iron farm, and naturally, I assumed he was full of it, but I don't remember there being a mountain and or village next to this villager prison, so... Okay, so we are once again purchasing iron off Teddy, and that brings our total up to... The dude's gonna be rich by the end of the season. Well, while I'm in the area spending all my diamonds, I figured I'd stock mending books so I can get some of those diamonds back. The vultures will have that chest pick clean by tomorrow. Okay, so I got halfway done constructing my super smelter for this season. Used all that iron I purchased for three stacks of hoppers. Just gotta add the rails and minecarts that go around filling up the furnaces. I mean, I currently have no fuel, but I need these 40 furnaces for reasons. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, it's getting dark, so that's going to be it for this episode. Please boop that like and subscribe button if you enjoy this content. I will see you again next episode. Topside out.